year of uncertainty. We know one thing for certain. Austin East and Fulton, <laughs> not big fans of each other. No, not really. And with both teams really eyeing their first win of the season tonight, there's more than bragging rights on the line in our game of the week. You know, these two teams combined for 106 points last year. Falcons on the goal line early in this one. Take a look at it. Tommy Sweat maneuvers his way around the defense, runs it in to put the Falcons on the board. 7-0 your score. Now watch this. Sweat again. This time, though, throws it to Rashawn Jackson, who then lobs it to Jaden Jenkins into the end zone. A little razzle-dazzle there. It's a 14-0 game. A forced fumble gives the Roadrunners a chance to score before the half, but Jackson with a nice pick. Says better luck next time. Nice return here as well as he swings it out to the outside. Roadrunners offense held virtually silent all night. Fulton gets the win tonight, 37-7. Our own Kellyanne Stitz was on the sidelines. She had the best seat in the house and has more. An aggressive offensive line that continued to put pressure on Austin East quarterback Keon Smith combined with a much improved offense under Tommy Sweat. The Falcons proved to be too much for the Roadrunners tonight. Boasting a stout defense led by Kenyon Vaughn with 14 total tackles and an offense filled with multiple playmakers led by quarterback Tommy Sweat who ended the night with 182 passing yards, 16 on the ground in his score. Head coach Ron Black says he's pleased by the team's growth and performance tonight. Yeah, I thought our whole offense was improved tonight. I, I thought we played a little bit more crisp and didn't make as many mental mistakes as we've been making. I thought Tommy had a good handle on our offense tonight. We made some big plays, and that was huge for us. The Roadrunners will continue on their quest for a win after Fulton topped them 37-7. to Not only was this Fulton's first win on the season against an in-town rival, but it was their first at home, making tonight extra special not only for the team, but also for the community. Reporting from Fulton High School, Kellyanne Stitz, WATE Sports.